Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, just another little update on the old bike here. Didn't do much to her guys. Dusted in some flat black. Like I said, red wheels, red bars. And I've been just slowly dusting her in. This was my, I'm still gonna, I have the pin drilled here for the throttle. And I've been dragging ass on this guys. And I'm still going to have the kill switch here, the push button one, but this is going to be like a master here. So this is on and that's off. So even if you crank her, this would need to be on, or at least that's the plan. So I want to show you a little something here. I was waiting on these. Aren't those pretty? Now, the thing is with these, I don't want to turn the channel into a parts bitching channel or anything like that, but I specifically ordered these 24 inch for this build. And, well, I received 26 inch, which I guess isn't the end of the world because this one here, you know, I won't have to drive it too much more. And um, they're pretty smooth. It's a little bit left. And, you know, I think they'll look okay on there. But I didn't buy them for that. They are more of a mountain bike tread, which is going to be okay. Because I always felt like, I know it's a beach cruiser, but I've always wanted to boost the tires up. So... I guess out of a shitty situation, I'm going to use them on the Phantom. And I'm not going to lie, I guess I'm just going to go to the shelf at Walmart and buy some just stock black tires when I'm ready because these ones are smooth, or the back one is smooth. The original tires, of course. But to break the bike to get it going, it's going to be good enough. It's going to be good enough. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this. Get some black paint on her. It's not finished. It's not finished, guys. I'm just pucking away. And well, I guess kind of another pisser with the tires, but you know what? It's not the end of the world because I'll use them on the Phantom. But I really did the red, the red line tires. I, uh, I really wanted those for the uh, little filthy McNasty build. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I did order a couple El Cheapos and I think now everything is complete. I put, I'm gonna put one of these on the Phantom and one on Filthy because if you put a motor on a bike, I have learned that you need these because if not, lean it against something because I'll guarantee it's gonna fall. I set this up for me here. I like this, this here. And for the record, I did use cable lock right here, you can see, but it's like you need the third hand because I'm not happy with the draw here. It releases, engages and disengages right there, but you can see this much slack right here. So I'm going to pull that up as soon as I get a, a helper here or Fred with it. But like I said, I'm really, really, really trying to drag my ass on this one because I'll tell you guys, as soon as it's ready to go, I'm going to want it to bark. And you can't do that with snow on the ground. And also, DNS, I want to thank you for the little shout out there. Guys that subscribed, thank you so much. Really, I started out a camping channel. And, you know, that's pretty much what it is. But along the way, COVID, I built my first bike. The 66 right here, that was the first one I built, and I, it was in COVID, I had COVID. So yeah, and it went from there, this is my second one, and I'm getting close to getting one of those OCC chopper bikes, those Swen chopper bikes, and that'll be my third build, because I've had parts bought for that build for a long time, that I, <laughs> I don't even have the bike, but I've had these things bought for my chopper build. And it's just something I'm going to paint up my own little, you know, 
But anyway, guys, like I said, I just want to give you a little update about the tires. I'm kind of disappointed, but I guess it works out. They'll fit on the beach cruiser and there's enough clearance. I could go with those more aggressive tires, which I was going to do anyway, but I was going to go with a wide white wall on this one. But you know what? I'm not going to try to send those things back to China. That's not going to happen. So anyway, guys, just a little update. Thank you guys for the subscriptions. I got a couple ideas. I have a camping channel, like I said. You dig around in my channel, you're gonna see some nice bike uh, ride videos. There's one there, 41 minutes, me and the Phantom. And it was a really nice ride. There's a couple of real nice ride videos on there. And uh, yeah, thanks so much guys for in, uh, subscribing to my little channel. I got a couple ideas for this summer. I want to do a stealth camp with one of the motorized bikes with the little snug pack ionosphere tent. I have a little bivy tent. Just foolishness like that. And me and my cousin, we've been kicking around because he's got a 80cc that he's building. And we just want to maybe do a little thing with a support vehicle and bugger off someday and just see how far these fuckers will go before one breaks. Like no hard riding, just steady riding, like, you know, old dude riding. But still, just to see how many clicks we can get on them before something happens. So anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for the shout out. I appreciate it all, guys. It means a lot to me. Thanks a lot. It just shows our little community's grown quite a bit the last few months or a year, the motorized bike world. So right on. That's cool. Anyway, thank you, guys. I'll keep you updated. When she barks, you definitely will see. Thanks a lot.